today we are plucking some plucking ears. Plucking some ears. And I don't mean eggs, although I do that sometimes. <laughs> I know, I get a couple of uh, growing off of earlobes once in a while. Oh, here you are. Hey, buddy. Let's get at it, Wallace. Oh, yes. So let's get so, at it. Gonna... Me and Wallace here are comfy. I have my gold bond, or you can use baby powder, cornstarch in a pinch. Um, I put it in a little dish just so it's easier to grab. You take Wallace here, you lay him down. Oh no. He really does like getting his ears done. Come on in close. This is a very prime example of an ear that really needs to get done. So I just usually sprinkle a little powder and I start out here. And I just grab a little bit and rip. <laughs> and it seems like it would really hurt him, but he absolutely loves it. Don't be scared to get some powder on your fingers. It makes the hair a lot easier. It takes any oil, makes it grippy for your fingers. Well, what does the powder do? The powder absorbs the oil so it's easier to grab individual. It makes the hairs more individual so you can pull them out easier. I think. I may be wrong. Oh my goodness, all the hair is blowing away. The birds will be happy today. But you can kind of see where it naturally wants to thin out. Like I don't usually go much higher than the tattoo. Like the tattoo will kind of end here. His ears are so dirty. Now what you want to do is concentrate on the hairs that are like right inside, right there. The ones that Mel's grabbing right now. Because those are actually coming from like the inside of his ear. And when those get wet, it takes extra long for them to dry out and... They could get infected. So you just want to keep those clear. We kind of wait a little extra long. Um, just for the fact that we wanted to shoot this video and show you some good conditions of... Uh, when you really uh, need to pluck their ears. When you really need to pluck your ear. Pluck their ears is right. You don't want to grab too many hairs. But you see how it's a lot less hairy. All right, so now I'm kind of getting into the nitty gritty here. Yeah, getting inside here now. So I really need some powder in here to get the grease out because they're greasy. Just, oopsie. Wallace really likes this part. He likes the <laughs> He really likes the ones that are deep in his ear. I don't know. And also I should mention because Old English Sheepdogs is what Wallace is. And they have long hair, but his ears happen to flop down. And the vet told us that that makes their ears more prone to stay damp longer, which is another another prime reason why you want to have not too, too many long hairs in here, because it just keeps the moisture, which breeds bad bacteria and stuff in their ears and encourages bad things to grow, which is why you just want to pluck all these ears hairs out. There's a good amount of hair in there. And this does not in any way hurt walls. No, he really enjoys it. It's just the fact that this needs to be done. Let's look at how chilly it is. We decided not to get him another trim before winter. Um, it is going to start cooling down right away. He just spends more time in the house now. So, you may be noticing that there's a lot of powder in poor Wallace's ear here. But when he gets up, he usually gives a really good shake, which most of it falls out. And whatever doesn't fall out, we usually come back in with a damp, a damp rag. Or if you have 
baby wipes works really well also and you're just able to wipe wipe all that powder away so it's not getting in the way of anything so that's pretty getting pretty good what do you think Ed? yeah we're getting there I need one more of those. Wallace wants to shake his head so bad. He's like whining. <laughs> like it feels so good. Oops. All right. I say that's a lot better than what it was. All done? Ready for the next? Oh, no. And that's how you pluck an ear. Hey, Wallace? You gonna do a big shake? <laughs> One more ear to go. I guess it's my turn. Hey, okay. One more. One more to go. One more to go. No, that's a clean one. Oh, this is a dirty one. Oh, 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 right off the mattress. Some bees back here. Like, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing to the big bear? Well, so you got to start. You can see the hair is kind of greasy, like right here, for instance. So if you take a little bit of gold bond powder in between your fingers, just like that, and then you touch this hair, and it completely dries out those oils. Yeah, you can unclump the hair, so when you're pulling his hair, you're actually not pulling as much at a time. It's, you get little bits at a time, which don't make it so... He absolutely loves it. This, this sound he's making is the sound that he yeah, loves. Yeah, it's not a bad sound. I'm just, uh, he's like, keep doing it. So you just want to keep fucking away till you, you kind of see daylight down there. So that's another good reason why you want to do this outside. You get all this hair. Um, but, and also a good reason we do it more often um, is so you don't get their hair actually mats inside of their of their ear. And a good way to get it a, a, an ear infection. So we're getting near the 
the end of all the hair. You can kind of see down in his ear now. Now I'm just kind of cleaning up around the edges. Uh -oh, there's a couple good ones there yet. Oh, you love that. Good boy, Wally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 